trying to figure out my niche, my brand, whatever it's going to take to make these videos interesting, to get people excited to watch them. If you look at some of the top YouTubers, let's take somebody like um, Casey Neistat, for example. If you don't know who Casey is, he's a YouTube personality, and he's wildly successful. He has a huge loyal following. He's got over 6 million subscribers. Every one of his videos routinely gets millions of views. And, God, why is this so bright? That's uh, a little, well, here. He lives in New York City, and he rides around town on his boosted board, which is basically an electric skateboard. And I live in a sleepy little village outside of Cincinnati, and I've never been on a skateboard in my entire life. But, you know, if there's one thing that I, if I'm being honest, that I kind of want to borrow from Casey, it's that cool electric skateboard. But the thing is, is that... Boosted boards are, eh, they're pretty expensive. If you're gonna get the, the top end one, it's like $1,500, which is a lot. But here's the thing. You can build an electric skateboard or longboard for a fraction of that cost. So it's cheaper, more powerful, and I'm making it my own, which means I'm not copying Casey. So to power the whole thing, I'm using two 3S LiPo batteries. If I connect them in series, I get a total of 6S or 22 volts. The batteries are connected to an electronic speed controller, or ESC for short. The ESC acts as a kind of throttle to control speed and direction of the motor. The ESC will send power to a 190 kV brushless motor, specifically designed for electric skateboards. This little motor is capable of 2.5 kilowatts of power. 1.21 gigawatts! gigawatts! This motor is capable of roughly three and a half horsepower, which poses a bit of an interesting problem because at full power, this thing should be able to propel a 200 pound man down the road at a top speed of 40 miles an hour. So to not kill myself, I'm gonna run it at half power, which is why there's only two batteries. This is a 12S motor, so the 6S worth of battery means I effectively limit the top speed by half at a more manageable 20 miles an hour. And Less batteries is cheaper, so that's nice. To control the speed, I'll be using this cheapo three-channel RC car controller. Nothing special, but when I squeeze the throttle, the transmitter sends a signal to the paired receiver, which is connected to the ESC. Controlling wirelessly means there's no cables to get tangled with, and I can test the board remotely to see if it's a death trap or not. Now, to actually build the skateboard, I'm going to need some parts, so I went ahead and ordered all the parts ahead of time, and luckily enough, today is mail time. hardware trucks wheels motor mount the motor good lord I actually had no idea how big this thing was in real life look at the size of it it's huge Casey can keep his vegan smoothies. So for the board itself, it's pretty straightforward. You have a board, it's a piece of wood, shaped in a certain way. Trucks mount to the board, wheels go on the trucks. One motor. This is a motor mount. It's commercially available. It's designed to work with these trucks. I did print out the drive pulley on my 3D printer. This is the model here. It's designed to work with this belt and to fit on the wheels that I'm gonna use. So for the wheels that I'm using, these are nothing special. In fact, they were some of the cheapest I could find for one thing. The core here fits a certain pattern. These fit perfectly inside this wheel. Put it onto the truck, bolt goes around this pulley, and there we go. Cool. First time ever on a longboard. Here we go. So seriously, I've never ridden one of these things a day in my life. 
The thing I got going for me is that I've been snowboarding since I was in high school. And uh, when I was out in Hawaii, took surfing lessons. And I was actually able to pick that up the first time because it was really similar to snowboarding. So what I'm hoping is that this is really similar to snowboarding and I don't fall and break my neck. So here's hoping. One eternity later. Batteries are charged. ESC is programmed. Transmitters transmitting. Everything's hooked up. With any luck, I'm going to turn it on and the wheel's going to spin. Well, they caught on fire, so there's a good sign. All right, here we go.
Casey's always going on and on and on about how much he loves New York City. But I gotta tell you, this city, I love this city. And one more thing. Casey, can I be in your